This is a Crown Zenith premium figure collection that I purchased for $60. This right here contains my current Crown Zenith collection. As you can see, uh, it's particularly empty. Uh, <laughs> I have four full arts. Rip. I thought it would be fun to crack this open before I start buying singles online and see if we can make our money back from this. Let's get into it. All right, guys, please be sure to hit that like button if you do enjoy these videos. Subscribe if you have not already and comment down below what you think. All right, there we go, all cracked open. Very solid presentation here. You get yourself uh, some sleeves and these are really ugly. Won't be using those. Get a nice little promo here, Zashian. And there's a code card. Then you get yourself a nice little Zashian figure. That's very cute. As well as a Zashian pin right there. Very high quality pin. But this is the good stuff right here. 11 packs of Crown Zenith. Very strange number. Okay, Zashian, give us some luck, baby. Give us some luck. I am very curious about how the prices of Crown Zenith will be nowadays. I've only checked uh, when I first opened up this set. And uh, beyond that, I just haven't looked. So I have a feeling uh, probably a lot of the higher end chase cards have plummeted in value and pretty much everything probably has plummeted in value here. So I'm not expecting huge numbers, but this is probably what it will level off at. And I'm not expecting it to go much farther down. Giraffe rig and Orangaroo, nothing in the first pack right there. Um, yeah, probably not gonna go down any farther just considering the time from release at this point. And in the future, it'll probably go up a good bit. All right, there we go, another code card for y'all. And Electric Ultra Ball Skrelp. And a Radiant Eternatus. Okay, that's cool, I don't have that card. And a Light Bard, non-hollow. This is not part of the gallery set, so I don't really need that. But hey, a pull is a pull, we will take it. So far, nothing huge. Those Radiant Collection cards, they're not super expensive. They're kind of like the new Break cards, I would say, for this. All right, there's another code card. Break cards, obviously, still not worth a lot, and it's been years since those have come out. Maybe one day I have like a 16 to 20 of those or something like that, so I don't know. Hopefully one day it'll go up in value. Wow, another Nothing Burger pack. Crown Zenith, uh, thus far, not treating us the best. This is, this is yucky. Right now, all of our value is like in the figure as well as the promo card. All right, we need this pack to bring us some luck. Electric, Rescue Carrier, Giraffe Rig, Aeron, Riolu, Starly, Scyther, is this the reverse? No, Pokeball. Wait, we'll take from the back because it should be, yep, an energy. Here's a reverse. Ugh, friends in Hisui. I could never pronounce that. And a Hoopa Hollow. Let's be honest. Anyone who tallies up Hollow cards for price, man, <laughs> unless it's a vintage set, it's not worth anything. Let's be completely honest. Those things are maybe 50 cents unless it's like a card that would actually do well in the TCG. It is, it is so not worth tallying those. Sometimes I see TikToks of people who tally them up and they literally do every single card. They'll open a pack, be like, oh, it costs $3. And uh, here, that's a three cent card. That's a five cent card. Oh, this is a 10 cent card. And, and then they get to a hollow or non hollow and they're like, oh, 30 cents. And I'm like, dude, you are never going to sell those cards for that, ever. I'm so sorry to tell you. All right, Crick Tot. Okay, all right, Hisuian. Gudra and a Gumshoes. Well, we have another hit, a little Gudra and a Starly offering him a flower. Well, that's pretty good. I don't think we have that one. That is a GG 21 out of 70. Not bad, okay. I do have Hidden Fates completed, which is great. That's one of my crowning Pokemon achievements. Um, Shining Fates, I'm about halfway through. That one's just so much more boring to me. Hidden Fates, I got through pretty quick completing, uh, but Shining Fates, I just find to be kind of a drag to collect. Um, I mean, the prices are just butt low, so who cares? 
And then I'm also nearly done with celebrations. I kind of teetered out on celebrations just because I got bored of that set too. Although now all of a sudden celebrations is getting really expensive, even though it it started very expensive and got extremely cheap the next week and now it's getting expensive again. It's a very bizarre set. I like that Salandit a lot. Purloin with the blue Pokeball right there. Oh, so cute. Grubbin, grubbin for some food. And then, come on, come on, give me something. Give me, give me, give me something. Yes, a Riolu baby. All right, it's nothing huge. It's not a full art, but it still is something. And a Luxray. Bro, the most we have gotten from the main set is a single hollow. The rest have been non-hollows. How many, how many do we have left? All right, we've got five left. Out of six, we've had one hit. One hit. Dog, that, that freaking sucks. Okay. Okay, all right, all right, all right. You know what, you know what? The Pokey Gods have got us. Arceus has got us this time. There you guys go. You can sometimes tell if something's a hit or not by the color. I'm gonna say this is not a hit because you can see the reverse is colored well, darker. This is not, so, yep, not a hit. There you go. You can tell that fairly easily. But the reverse is what we really want because that's where the full arts and the gallery is. So, that's what we want. Young Goose. Oh my God, another Radiant Eternatus. You know what? At this point, a hit is a hit. I'm sure that's only worth like a dollar. <laughs> but, man, it's, it's what we need. It, it's what we need. <laughs> We need that dollar. All right, there you go. There's the code card. One, two, three. Bada bing. And then here is that. And this is going to be a hit. Look at that. Both of these are miscolored compared to the other cards. So both of these should be hollow or better. Gloom. Great ball. Got a little fur there. Trekking shoes. Cherubi. Starly. Switch. Execute. Love this. This should be something. Electivire. That's actually sick. There's Magmar in the background. These two kind of became a dynamic duo for fourth gen. I like this a lot. This is a really, really cool card. Oh, this was non-hollow. I was completely wrong about that. Okay, I guess the back was just miscolored a little bit or I mislooked. Either way, that means so far, we still only have one hollow hit from the main set. Thank God they started doing these trainer gallery sets and stuff like that uh, because Otherwise, man, you're not getting anything. All right, this should be a trainer, or a, you know what I mean, you know what I mean. All right, Pinchurchin, Rare Candy, Bisharp, Wooloo, Shinx, Pancham, Snorunt. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. Give me the magic. Nah, it's just a reverse. All right, maybe magic here. Ooh, we got a little magic, we got, uh, what, what we got here, what we got here? Um, it looks lightning. I feel like Boltund is in this set, right? Is that a Rayquaza? Yo! Rayquaza v I didn't know Rayquaza was in this set. That's so random. Okay, well, Rayquaza VMAX, that's fine. It's, it's not anything crazy. That might be like a five, six dollar card, I feel like. Okay, we still got two more packs. We kind of need these packs to bang, though. Like, <laughs> these boys gotta go freaking hard, dude. These guys gotta go hard. All right, there you go. There's a code card. One, two, three. All right, beautiful, and then toss that. That's the lightning, beautiful, okay, all right. We need you to go hard here. Execute, Rock Ruff, Purloin, Love Disc, Chetot, uh, Shinx, and a Luxray, non hollow. All right, we got our last pack here. You know what they say, dude, last pack magic. Bl bless it with the sword. Bless it with the sword, there you go, there you go. A little blessing right there. All right. We need like a double banger here. We need the double banging to happen. Okay, ready, 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 boom. Okay. One, two, three, to the front. I guess fire energy, fighting, dang it. Okay, I mean, this is not great. Value-wise, this is, this is not fantastic. Energy switch, crock a rock Lunatone, the Starly, Scyther, Pokeball, Young Goose, Cherubi. All right, you know what? At least it's a trainer gallery. Soul Rock, okay, all right, it's something. 
<laughs> this is Sashi and Hollow. It's actually kind of a dope Hollow, I'm not gonna lie. All right. Main set wise, we only had two hollows and a full art. Not even a full art. I mean, uh, like, is that, that that counts as a full art? So that's three out of eleven. That's pretty bad luck, dude. And then we had an Electivire, Riolu, Soul Rock, Radiant Eternatus, Rayquaza V Max, Gudra, and a Radiant Eternatus. Uh, pretty, pretty bad pulls all around. Um, but you know what? I can put these in the binder and I will be happy. So at least there's that, um, but did not get our value back. I don't think you guys will know. Either way, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, comment down below. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.